what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Four South Carolina students recently spelled out the word rape with spray-painted letters on their chest during a football game for their district's Breast Cancer Awareness Night. The incident took place during Westside High School's football game Friday against rival school D.W. Daniel. The director of external affairs for the school district told Huffington Post that four boys, two sophomores and two seniors, were part of a larger group that spelled out bump cancer for the awareness event. Before the game started, the students essentially started playing Scrabble by spelling out different words from bump cancer and taking pictures. Now, the principal was notified later that night of what happened, and he made the effort to locate and identify the students. One of the words that was spelled out was rape, and they took a picture of that word, and that picture was shared to Snapchat. And that's basically what blew the cover, and people got pissed off and made a big deal about it. And so the principal took action. So what action did he take? Well, he said that he punished them. He said he called a meeting, an administration meeting with the parents and the students, and they were punished. But because of privacy reasons, he can't tell us what he did to them. Y'all know they got a slap on the wrist, if anything. Let me tell you something. The rape culture in high schools even middle schools and on college campuses are very real to many women. It's nothing to play with. And to think that they would do something like that during a celebration for breast cancer awareness, a rally for breast cancer awareness, a game, a competition for breast cancer awareness. It gives you some insight on how corrupt their minds are. You see, these schools, they're breeding grounds for your rapists, for your future murderers, for your hate groups. These dudes, they didn't write the word rape on their chest. They didn't commit this atrocious act in the bathroom. They didn't do it in some type of secret club or in their parents' basement. They did it under the spotlight of their coaches, their parents, their teachers, and their schoolmates. They were very comfortable with that. And if it had not, that photo had not been shared to Snapchat, we would have never known about it because what do they do? Well, boys will be boys. Well, you know, they're young and they don't really have a real understanding of the consequences of their actions and how painful the things that they do are. That's a damn lie. That's a goddamn lie. I was their age once and I can tell you every time I did something messed up or I did something wrong, I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew it was wrong. That's why whenever I did something wrong, I had a certain 
anxiety about it. You know, by the time you hit that middle school age, you know for sure the difference between right and wrong. You know. And damn sure you know by the time you get to high school. You know. They know. They knew exactly what they were doing. They thought they were going to get away and nobody would say anything because, hey, they do a lot of dumb shit nobody says anything about. That ain't the first time they did something stupid. That's not the first time they did something insensitive. That's not the first time they, they trampled on people's feelings, caused somebody pain. Can you imagine somebody that would do something like that at a breast cancer awareness event? Can you imagine what other type of stuff they've done? This is a culture, y'all. This is not some isolated incident. This happens all over America. And what do you do? You have parents who make excuses for them. You have parents and uh, teachers or educators, friends who enable them by laughing it off. Now, to their credit, a lot of those students that went to that school, they were mad about that. They did speak out against it. I give them that. But there had to be enough students who went to that school that didn't have a problem with it for them to think it was cool. And they didn't have a problem with it. It was enough people that was there that didn't have a problem with it enough to not say anything about it at all. Not just students, but parents, coaches, educators. I don't think that they, they probably didn't even punish him at all. They probably gave him a real strong finger wag. Like, duh, do that again. Where people on the outside can see it and judge us. That's probably what they did. This is Donnie inspired. I can guarantee you that the parents probably voted for Donald Trump. South Carolina strikes again. I'm not surprised this happened in South Carolina. South Carolina is about 250 years behind the rest of the country. I'm not surprised at all. Very, very backwoods state. Very slow to react. Very slow to respond to the rest of the world. These dudes are the worst that America has to offer. And I read one report where it said that it was an apparent joke. Apparent wasn't a damn apparent joke. This is who they are. They were doing that on purpose. They knew exactly it was calculated. They knew exactly what they were doing and they were trying to harm people. They, was, they, was, they did it as, as, a, as a sign of, of disrespect. They did it. Think, let's go back, y'all. This is a breast cancer awareness event. It's a breast cancer awareness event. There is no place for something like that to happen. For them to be of high school age and they not get that, their asses need some type of uh, medical attention right now. They need to get their heads checked. They need to get examined because they're not ready to go out into the world and interact with the rest of society. They're slow in the head. There's something wrong with them. They need to get checked out. I suspect that these are the kind of dudes who would someday get a statue in America. This is all Donnie inspired. Way to make South Carolina great again. You have a president who jokes about sexual assault. And you have a secretary of education who's making it harder for rape victims 
to report crimes. What did y'all think would happen? I said it when he got in. I said that there would be a surge in sexual assault crimes. And there would be a surge in people who thinks it's okay to commit sexual assault. And now you have a surge in people making jokes about sexual assaults. Like it's really something funny. We're in a bad place in this country, a real bad place. You have men left and right who thinks it's okay to sexually abuse women. They didn't see anything wrong. Not one of them had the presence of mind to say, hey guys, I don't think we should do this. Not one. And so you had at least, we got bump cancer. So that's what, eight, 10. So that's 10 letters right there. So you got 10 people and not one had the presence of mind to say, hey guys, I don't think we should do that. That's not funny. Something wrong with that. Too bad they didn't have enough people to spell the words stupid idiots. No more talk. What, what the maid is talking about. Damn. Order, Texas.